plan. We wait until the dead of night when everyone else is sleeping, and then we all sleep as well. Get this, we wake up the next day, show proper respect to our fellow inmates, proper respect to the guards, and then after like one, maybe two years, we're a model prisoner. We apply for parole and we get out. Pretty good plan, huh? My most recent pick for Patreon picks was The Escapist. A game where the whole game is to escape from prison. And I, I, I got a quick question. This pick was actually submitted by a close friend of mine and I can't imagine why he recommended this. This does not even seem like the type of game that he would even know about. My best guess is Team 17. Him and I played a lot of Worms back in the day. We loved Worms 3D. <laughs> I kind of wish that he suggested that, but no, he put the escapist. I'm not gonna lie, this game is not catered to me in the slightest. So, you're in prison, you can get items, currency, stats, and you're supposed to use these to break out of prison. But this game does not hold your hand in the slightest. I can't do things if I don't know how. The game tells you, do your chores, exercise, eat your meals, go to sleep. And so I do that! You can't have that item, it's illegal! Oh, well, I wouldn't want to break the rules. Yeah, in fact, my first prison break was completely by accident! So I've been exercising like they told me to, and I had a maxed out strength stat. And also, there was this inmate that just hated me. Every single time he saw me, he would attack me in broad daylight. And usually the guards would come and knock him out. But like one in five times, they decided that I was the instigator and they'd start attacking me. Well, the thing is, your character automatically fights back and there are only four guards in the prison. Hey, hey, it wasn't, it wasn't me. It was Chase, it was Chase. Get off me, get off, fine, fine, whatever. Kill me, I don't care, just. I just knocked out all four. And there, clear as day on the screen, it said, I suggest you get out of here while you still can. The main gates are open. Well, I am very good at following orders given to me by the game, so I just walked out. Heyman Gaming Station, hardened criminal. So they got multiple prisons for you to break out of. So I started up another one and I decided I was gonna do this one straight. There was even one time when I knocked out all the guards by accident again and it told me to leave and I'm like, no, I'm gonna do this one as intended. So I spent weeks carefully smuggling spades out of the gardener's chests. Run, 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 run! Okay, 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 shoot me! I, I don't have anything on me that I shouldn't. During less populated periods of the day, I was digging a hole. Anytime that an inmate had lumber, I'd buy it off him to build braces and use my hole as a place to stow the spades, just in case the guards ever checked my drawers. I did this over the course of several in-game days. And then I noticed that the electric fence reached underground. <sighs> Whatever, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. And then the day finally arrived when I decided to break out. I got a guard's uniform, I got some fence clippers, and in the dead of night, I dug out, filled in the hole, walked the entire perimeter, and I, I saw no way to deactivate the electricity on the fence. I was gutted. I tried to play this game by its rules, but either by lack of explanation or lack of understanding, I just couldn't do it. Next morning, I woke up, I beat up the guards, walked out of the prison. I tried another prison after that, but I just gave up. I made myself a pair of nunchucks, maxed out my strength, and then I went on a rampage and just wasn't able to do it. I mean, there were more guards, so I couldn't take them all on at once. I had to use hit and run tactics. But the only problem was is that they would recover before I could KO all of them. So the only method I knew, violence, couldn't even work. And I can't even imagine another way to escape other than just hitting the power button. All right, so I did it. And I was right. It took three days, but I finally transferred all the cards into tickets. And I'll show you a little bit how it works if you don't if you don't know how tickets work. Let's give it a spin and see what the next game is going to be. As always, it is my pleasure to read the names of the patrons that make this little shindig even possible. Wolfster25, Matthew Mellison, Ben Z, Alpha, Nicole Norman, Gaia Aranos, Brandon Martin, Aelia, and Zero Base Soul. Thanks, guys. All right, so what we do, we do it just like the other ones. We go and pick one out. 
Now, all the information is available. Ah, it's a green ticket. All right, so I go down to the green section, and we are looking for 242167, which is... It is one for Alpha's Choice of Spelunky. Now there are 315 dead tickets in there that... Either I'm gonna have to fish out or we just hope we don't run into Alpha again, but yep, now I know what the next game is. See you then!